Welcome to day one in BADLC, also known as the boring ass day in the life of Chris. Today, we're going to be vacuuming my car. This is actually one of the most useful tools I've ever used. It's got a... Yeah! Brush slides off. Well, anyway, it's got a... It's one of these attachments right here, right? But you put that on, and it vacuums everything. You can, like, brush stuff. It's the best tool ever. Alright, so we had a little bit of an issue with a patron yesterday. He was concerned about the placement of the pace clock, right? Now, he did kind of have some... He, did, he had a point because it was plugged in, but everything after that was complete bogus, okay? Now, his issue was he said in an earthquake or some kind of accident, it might fall in the pool and it might shock everyone, right? And so I wanted, kind of wanted to prove him wrong. I'm, very many accounts, but I didn't because it would be a waste of everyone's time. Right, so here's the man was sitting. There's a clock. It was plugged in. That is a ground fault interrupt circuit right there. So, which I'll explain in a second. It was about six feet from the pool, which is fine, but whatever. I just did what he said. I moved it. Right, behind the block so it would get stuck. If it did move, it wouldn't actually fall in the pool. It would just be blocked by all the crap there. Now, in a ground fault interrupt circuit, I actually, any sort of plug, right? You'll notice there are two prongs and two wires, right? Which is necessary because that's how you get a, a circuit. You need two leads, not just one, right? To make a loop. Well, in any current carrying wire, as long as it is carrying current, there will be a magnetic field around the wire, like so, okay? But if you put those two wires close enough together, those two magnetic fields actually cancel each other out, and as a result, there's no net magnetic field, right? Now, in a ground fault interrupt circuit, which is that little box that you see in bathrooms and things like that, 
they take advantage of this property and they have a loop of wire that goes around these two. Now technically, if something is plugged in, since it's all part of the same circuit, there should be the same amount of current going through one as there is through the other, right? So if something is wrong, there will be more going through one than the other, and as a result, there will be a magnetic field in that loop that I've drawn, and it'll get detected, and it'll trip this box, and it'll save everyone's life, right? So if it did fall into the pool, that thing would trip, and nothing would happen, right? So he's wrong on two accounts right now. It was, you know, far from the pool. Second of all, it would not have fallen in the pool because there's stuff in the way. Third of all, there is a ground fault interrupt circuit. Fourth of all, I mean, I've been here for 10 years and it has never fallen in the pool, even on the windiest days or when some kid kicks it. It doesn't fall in the pool because it's far enough away. Also, I mean, it is an implement that is designed to be used near the pool, okay? So I'm sure that the engineers thought of that. But, whatever, okay? So I, I kind of had some, uh, some questions for that man, but I didn't ask him. Um, <laughs> let's take a five-star beachfront hotel, like so. All right, let's, this is a hypothetical situation here. We're gonna have fish and everything, okay? And there is a man here who is drying his hair, right? Also, you notice that the clock only uses about like 250 milliamps, so there's not very much current at all. And usually with the issue, Usually it's with hair dryers because they use so much current, right? They're, they're like 1200 watts, right? So here's your hair dryer, right? And it's plugged in and it's a kilowatt. Let's say this man was negligent and he is blow drying his hair and enjoying the sunset at the same time. So he's leaning out of the window, drying his hair, as you can see. And this guy, clumsy fool as he is, drops the hair dryer into the ocean. What does the guy think is going to happen? It's going to shock all the fish in the world. Everything will be dead. Everything in the ocean. Even the people on boats and all the whales and all the like deep sea squid and those like everything in all the oceans around the planet are going to die. Is that what he thinks is going to happen? Because that's not what's going to happen. Electricity always finds the closest path to ground, right? Which is typically straight to the ground, not through all the animals, right? So if you jumped in a bathtub with a hairdryer, probably nothing would happen, right? Unless you were touching the drain because that's metal. So this guy had no idea what he's talking about, right? <laughs> so that was that. He's wrong on so many accounts. I just didn't make a scene though. I just sort of did what he said, wait for him to leave, and then put it back.